They adapted to Lane Kiffin's system even without spring practice because of COVID-19. Nice fake and a big play on the first. The Rebels like to go very quickly. Another play fake, another open receiver. Nice move through the open field by the tight end. Kenny Yabo. And the defense. Yaboa grab transfer from Temple. He's been terrific in their first two games. And Corral, the ball slipping around. Take a look at the pass to Yaboa. He just slipped behind the linebackers because the fake held those guys. Then a safety slipped and missed the tackle. Daniel Wright lost his footing, and that turned it in. He's averaged 22 yards per catch coming in. Corral fakes the run, has a man open. Great play call by Lane Kiffin, Jeff Levy. Faked the run. You see the line didn't go beyond the line of scrimmage. was going. So they made the decision not long before the game to part company. Here's a backward pass to Elijah Moore on first down. And he said, Sark's a great coach, but I think since I worked with him all year, I could have helped make a difference with a play or two. They're all in or not. And I think that whether Lane was or not, it could have handled, been handled differently. Third down and seven. Again, Yaboa's wide open. And the way they utilize him and move him around on defense, it's Dylan Moses, the linebacker for Bama. Point was the difference in the game. High snap. Jerry and Ely. That's about putting the football around. That play keeps you honest. Whoa. Bad snap. Yeah, they've had problems with the snaps and the pet. Counted almost five bad snaps, particularly when there was a defender lined up right over his over the nose of the center. He's thinking about that, but he's got to think snap first. They just barely got it off if, in fact, they did on time. Correct. Player, and he has been. He's so quick off the ball. His first step, and then he's relentless, plays with high energy, great motor, chases it down. Progress. They rule it a fumble, and it's not reviewable. His first career fumble. And Ole Miss taking advantage immediately. Connor with the big play. In for a 34-yard gain. Now Corral. What a play. Athlete from Southern California. And look out. That play looked like it might get blown up, but here's the talent. But Alabama was going to play defensively. Snap it at four on second and nine. Play on the football. Saw Pete Golding, the defensive coordinator. Ole Miss moving the ball well here in this opening quarter. Jerry and Eve. This Ole Miss offense is good. They can move the football and they can score. Final play of the quarter, Elijah Moore. Formation here is the lineman down at the bottom of the screen. And it's a Has run to away. fake. And field goals under Lane Kiffin. They've attempted only one this season. Very analytics driven in that decision making. He's hoping they get the first down, and they do. And now the penalty, the first of the game assessed to either team. Well, it's kind of a pick play. There it is. That, that's an easy call. I mean, he can he can cause interference, but he can't make it that obvious. Situation takes him out of scoring zone. Just going to try to hit him with a surprise run. And it's fourth down and about four. So unusual to see Alabama's run defense get gashed like this. Now, it's third and. to go for it. There's a staff member right behind him with that book at all times in case there's any question. They pick up the first down. Jerry. Alabama scrambling to line up. Ely. Problems for defense. And now he's blended those kind of plays with the speed and the up tempo. It's a good view from the progressive pylon cam. Matt Corral handed it off balance, and Matt Corral has just looked great. Very calm and collected. Nice movement through the traffic, weaving into the tide. Defensive unit. Corral design rollout on target. Elijah Moore for Jeff Levy. Lane said the DBs might have it toughest tonight. The offense knows where it's going. Corral steps into a deep throw into double coverage up for talented yeah. Aggie offense. Well, Kellen Mond, Florida. yeah, Kellen Mond is one of the best in, in the league and played really well today as well. Corral across the line of shots, third down and three. Corral with pressure coming. And the hardest working person in broadcasting, Laura Rutledge, will be uh, on the sidelines for one of the five yard gain on first down. Jerry and Ely. 
Yeah, he's got very quick feet. He's not overly big, but he can really run. 5'8", 190. Here he is, all team. Just, uh, Kyler Murray said that, too. <laughs> Here's Ely. Low bar that we set on our telecast. Look out, Corral manages to get away from Will Anderson, running out of time, gets away from Dylan Moses, gets up to get your head and eyes around and identify where the pressure is. He outruns Anderson. Now Dylan Moses can run as well, and he gets by him and gets the first down. Excellent play. 14-yard gain, hands it off straight ahead. Continued uh, to change the offense. Here's Corral. If there hadn't been the coaching change, back to a pass happy attack he probably would have transferred chance fourth down going quick Snoop Connor got them within one yard of the first down Snoop Connor has much more this time Jordan and then the run crushed him on fourth down the fake to Elijah Moore Connor the problems he wants to create right now in Alabama running men on the field fourth down tonight rush for 156 more than they average for the two games in their entirety maturity from him five years ago it might be a different deal and they're content to uh, go into the locker room corral 11 out of 16 for 148 and a touchdown in the first half right. high snap corral took it down Running lane for snoop con seven yards corral down the field it's the tight end Yaboa off to the races again. Touchdown. It's going to get beat. Is this free safety? Daniel Wright. Daniel Wright had a pick six last week against AM. Watch him try to cut underneath the route and make a play on the football. He's late. He doesn't get there, and there's nobody behind him. He is the deep responsibility. He went for a big play. Back in Oxford, Mississippi. First down, Ole Miss. Matt Carroll's New York. Corral, deep throw after the foul. Yeah, I'm an experienced back judge, as you know. That's true, you are. Corral running out of time. Now zings one oh, over the gosh. middle, and it's caught. Sam Second half. Corral looked like he was waiting a long time for the back. Got away from Will Anderson. The years at Oaks Christian in the Los Angeles area. Transferred to Long Beach Polly's. The former Cincinnati Bengal wide receiver. Four man rush. Corral steps up, throw it, and takes off. Corral's ability to run on third down as you take a look at this replay. Here's the hold by Malachi Moore on Braylon Sanders. Looked like Dylan Moses was holding too on Jonathan Mingo. But when everybody's running man to man or matching patterns, when you have a quarterback that can do this season, another high snap. You know. Go from one read to the next, and then if everything breaks down, he's able to make a play. Yeah. Two. And they're kind of going against what their M.O. has been a little bit. Probably four down territory. They won't need fourth down here. Snoop in the left tackle, Nick Broker. Now they're going fast. I don't even know if Ole Miss was set at the snap. This will be the tenth play of the drive. Had it for almost four minutes. Huge hole. Safety right here, Helms. He's going to be the unblocked guy. He's got to make this play for the Alabama defense. Ely's going to put his left foot in the ground through the hole, break back inside, miss tackle. And that's that's the thing that's been amazing about Mac Jones is he has exceeded everyone's expectations. Corral, wow. Deep pace. Again, I guess you could flip that around, right? You're starting to wonder if Alabama's ever going to stop Ole Miss, too. They've had the knack for coming up with big plays on third and fourth down tonight. They bring pressure again. Snoop Connor has a lot of oh, ground. Oh, to I can't say enough about the play calling in this game. And a good fake to Connor. Here's Kenny Yaboa. He just put his shoulder into That's him. Football. He, he wasn't trying to declete him. A big call, first and 24. Jeff Levy coached nine years at Baylor for Art Bryles. She had married Coach Bryles' daughter. Here's Corral over the middle. Alabama, key third down and six to open the fourth quarter for Ole Miss from its own 41. Option, first time we've seen that. Oh, the play calling continues to be outstanding in the.
Each team now over 500 yards of offense. Corral. Fate. They have to come to the line of scrimmage, and that's why you can throw it there. Now the play they ran by the goal line, and he threw it too far. And into the fourth quarter. In trouble, Snoop Connor. Jamore right there in the slot to the wide side of the field. Corral saw a gap. Heard their last four. That one's a busted play. Corral still might get there. He did his best. Snoop Connor. Nations versus tempo. And they're not set for this play either. Snoop Connor. He said, I don't like to kick field goals unless the book tells me I absolutely should. Snoop Connor. He lines up to take the snap. He's going to keep it. He lunges for the line. Back. Having a career night. Snoop Connor. This is going to be another close call. Watch number 18 come down the line and get into the body of Snoop Connor. Did the ball cross the plane on this one? Gain the lead 49 42. Four rushing touchdowns tonight for Harris. Of course, he fumbled on the goal line early in the game. Second and eight. Here's Healy. A lot of folks thought that Corral. And the tempo back up to full speed. Corral, excellent fake. On. Backers have to honor the fake. Especially with such a good fake on the previous play. He handed the ball off, but they didn't think he had. He throws it up. Back. Play design. What a night for Yaboa. Offense against the number two team in the country. You don't see this happen on Alabama defense very often. Connor against Texas a and You don't do that. You don't run it in against him. Corral lost the ball. And that's the fight. Alabama seven touchdowns on its last seven possessions. Devontae Smith's 13 catches a career high. Najee Harris is 106. Missouri coming back from a knee injury. Corral after the play fake. Throwing deep. Has a man over. Be double coverage. Watch the route. Watch him go inside, influence the safety, then right up the field. Saw Jalen Waddle run the same route last week. And then there's the. He's 20 to 25 for 365 and two touchdowns. He's a star in the making. Back. There's been active participants in this half and the replay booth as well. Corral. They got that man on the field. Four man rush. Corral retreating. Corral running out of real estate. Last year it was Devontae Smith, a record five touchdown receptions against Ole Miss. Corral. It was November 17, 2007 against Louisiana Monroe. Open. You 21 and 0. All time against his former assistants. <laughs> Sometimes it's hard.